Queen's Gambit declined, three knights, Vienna variation. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. Opening with the Queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and helps control the e4 square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This pins a knight to the king. This defends a vulnerable pawn by pinning one of its attackers. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This creates a threat to win a knight. It is the last book move. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. 